According to a video released by the Russian Ministry of Defense on April 16, 2025, Russian forces have intensified the use of unmanned ground vehicles UGVs, configured as kamikaze platforms in their operations against Ukrainian positions. This marks a notable evolution in Russian battlefield tactics, as ground-based drones increasingly mirror the employment of first-person view, FPV, aerial drones and executing precision strike missions. In a recent operation in the Kharkiv region, combat engineers from the Russian West, Zapad Group, employed a tracked kamikaze UGV to destroy a fortified Ukrainian stronghold that was obstructing the advance of Russian assault units. The vehicle was remotely guided into the enemy's dugout and detonated an anti-tank mine TM-62, effectively neutralizing the personnel within the position. The entire action was captured on video and serves as a stark demonstration of how UGVs are being integrated into frontline offensive roles. The decision to arm these kamikaze robots with TM-62 mines reflects a deliberate choice based on the mine's substantial destructive capacity and versatility. The TM-62 is a Soviet-designed anti-tank blast mine widely regarded for its high explosive yield and reliability in various terrain conditions. The standard TM-62 contains between 7.5 and 8 kilograms of TNT, or a comparable explosive, housed in a circular metal, plastic, or wood-cased body with a diameter of approximately 320 millimeters and a height of 110 millimeters. It is compatible with multiple pressure and magnetic influence fuzzes, including the MVCH-62 and MVN-72, allowing for flexible deployment in both passive and active roles. Originally developed for use against armored vehicles and main battle tanks, the TM-62's deployment via UGV allows Russian forces to repurpose this powerful ordnance for urban combat and fortified position assaults. The use of ground-based kamikaze robots equipped with such mines enables precise targeting of static enemy defenses while keeping Russian personnel at a safe distance from counterfire zones. This tactic is particularly effective in the trench-heavy battlefields of eastern Ukraine, where static fortifications are commonplace and traditional armored assaults can prove costly. The broader implication of this development is the growing integration of robotics and automation into Russian tactical doctrine. By leveraging off-the-shelf components and repurposed military hardware, Russia is expanding its inventory of expendable yet potent unmanned systems capable of performing high-risk missions. These systems provide a dual advantage, disrupting enemy defensive lines while reducing manpower exposure. This strategic shift also reflects the escalating technological arms race between Russian and Ukrainian forces. Ukraine has likewise developed indigenous UGVs, such as the Rataless, which has been seen in combat roles equipped with TM-62 mines or explosive payloads. As both sides continue to innovate under combat conditions, the war in Ukraine is rapidly becoming a proving ground for the future of unmanned ground warfare. Russian kamikaze ground robots, like the Courier UGVs, are unmanned vehicles used in the Russia-Ukraine conflict for suicide missions. Equipped with explosives such as TM-62 mines, they target Ukrainian positions, including machine gun nests and logistics hubs. Recent ex-posts from April 2025 highlight their deployment by the 45th Independent Special Forces Brigade in Kamenka, showing their terrain navigation and detonation capabilities. Forbes reported in February 2025 that these robots, with electric engines for stealth, carry up to 30 kilograms warheads and support infantry by reducing personnel risk, as seen in 2024 Berdichi operations.
Russia's Kamikaze ground robots, a significant development in modern warfare, emerged prominently during the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict, particularly from 2024 onward. These unmanned ground vehicles, UGVs, are designed for one-way suicide missions, equipped with explosives to destroy enemy targets such as fortified positions, machine gun nests, and logistics hubs. This innovation reflects Russia's adaptation of robotic technology to reduce risks to personnel and enhance tactical capabilities. Kamikaze ground robots are UGVs built for stealth and disposability, drawing parallels to Kamikaze drones but adapted for terrestrial operations. They typically feature electric engines for near-silent movement and carry explosive payloads such as TM-62 anti-tank mines, weighing up to 30 kg. Russia began deploying these robots in combat around 2024. Early reports, including a Forbes article from February 2025, noted their use in operations near Berdichy in Ukraine. These initial models were relatively basic, focusing on simple navigation and detonation upon reaching their targets. As the conflict progressed, Russia's kamikaze robots evolved significantly. Enhancements included better navigation systems, improved ability to traverse complex terrain, increased payload capacity, greater explosive power for enhanced destructive potential, enhanced stealth features, refined electric engines and designs to minimize detection. The Courier UGVs stand out as a key model in Russia's arsenal. These robots were optimized to support infantry by quietly approaching targets and detonating on impact, reducing the need for direct human engagement. Russia's kamikaze ground robots, exemplified by the Courier UGVs, have been a notable feature of the Russia-Ukraine conflict since their introduction in 2024. Starting as basic explosive-laden UGVs, they have evolved into more sophisticated systems with improved navigation, stealth, and destructive power. While they have proven useful in targeting Ukrainian positions, their effectiveness is not absolute and is shaped by battlefield conditions and countermeasures. This development, alongside Ukraine's own robotic advancements, underscores the rapid evolution of robotic warfare in the 21st century.